visiting the various training facilities of the Metro Police Training College. Sadly, because of the COVID pandemic, the students can't all be in one place. And this has obviously complicated life a lot. It has slowed down the training substantially. So these current officers that are training at the different facilities, uh, they will all be going into the LEAP program. The, uh, the thousands additional officers that the province is paying for with the support so of the city to, to deploy a hundred each to the ten uh, most significant uh, policing uh, and crime hotspots around the, the city so we can bring down the violent crime rates that those communities experience. Almost half of our violent crime is experienced at those ten police precincts out of the 60 in the city. We're using everything available to us to train these additional officers. There are 216 law enforcement officers currently going through their peace officer and traffic warden training. Sadly, a very frustrating experience because they have to spread the training um, the, the students over so many different facilities because of COVID. You can't have them all in one place and that's made life a lot more complicated. Hence the use of all these different training facilities to uh, work within the the requirements of the COVID lockdown regulations, but we're determined to make it happen. We're determined to give these communities some relief of the crime. And that's why uh, uh, all these training academies are currently doing the, the training they're doing. And I want to thank the staff for their professional conduct. Very important that we inspire these uh, current uh, trainees to be, to be passionate about policing. Welcome, and uh, I hope you all pass. Uh, and that we are going to come as soon as you're out, you're ready. I'm going to come out on patrol with you.